So when you're thinking about when and where work is happening and what it's going to look like in the future for you, ask yourself, do I have the trust in place? Can I move to a place with my people, with my staff, where I can trust them enough to know that we could start to offer up some flexibility to embrace that world? Because when I'm thinking about the new world of work, I don't think it's going to be black and white. I'm not here to say I think we're all going to be free agents just working from home or coffee shops being totally virtually connected. I think it will always be some sort of a hybrid. I think you're going to have some people that want to be physically together in the office. You're going to have some people that want, that need more flexibility and want to be home. And it's showing up even today. Two classic examples with our clients. One, you look at Cisco. Cisco's a great client of ours. You go to their campuses. They have these massive buildings that are sitting completely empty. Their real estate people are probably going crazy. So much overhead. You can just like run through the hallways yelling. Four or five days a week, no one's there. Because they connect virtually very, very often. And part of that is because they create the tools that allow us to do it. And so they're going to, you know, pre they're going to do what they preach. But what's interesting when we work with them, they're so comfortable jumping on a Skype session. They'll send, they send me links all the time to do a video conference. Collaboration is still happening. It works for them. But I still find and I still talk to people inside of Cisco that are like, I miss being able to get together. I miss there being more people around at lunchtime. They don't all want to work that way. And then you go to the other example and you look at what Yahoo did. Look at what Marissa Meyer did this past year, rescind, rescinding their telework policies and saying, we need to bring people back and get physically back together. Now, there's a lot of speculation, a lot of chatter out there of why that happened, a lack of trust, and trying to kick that company into high gear. But she ultimately came down and said, you know, I feel like innovation happens when we do physically get together, when you bump up against each other in the hallways, at the water cooler. We need to get together. So my point is, it will be a mix and a hybrid, but we've got to be willing to be flexible. So number one, it's changing where and when we work.